Welcome back, everyone. Today, I am looking at the deep work timer that I showed you a few videos back, and I've simplified it uh, based on some comments and feedback that I got on that video, which I thought was very helpful. So today we're going to go through what you might call a, a simplified deep work timer with uh, a lot less Emacs Lisp and just building on some of the baked in uh, functionality of org mode here. So as we get started here, I'm going to go over to my configuration. And uh, here it is right here. So actually, we might, maybe we'll just say deep work timer stuff. That's a little too vague. Why not deep work timer configuration? Uh, so there you go. So all we've got here now, you see this is much simpler. We've got a custom sound for the org clock. So we're still going to use the org clock, but we're also going to use the clock tables and the, the clocking in and out functions that org mode gives you. So when the org mode clock runs down, I want it to play this sound effect right here. That's just a, a file path where that sound lives. And we've got an add hook function here for org timer done hook. So basically, when the org timer runs down, I want it to run the org clock out function. So let's go back now. And so now the reason I want it to run the org clock out function is so that I won't miss a clock out. Because I don't know if you remember in the video I did about clocking in and out of org mode tasks. You do control C, control X, and then control I to clock into a task. So now it's it's logging the time that I'm working in this task. And then you go back, you know, later once you've once you've done some work and you do control C, control X, and then clock out, and that runs the org clock out function. It'll clock you out of you know whatever task you are in. So let's actually go back and let's add some minutes here. So so that was 10 minutes. And then when we update the clock, you'll see that we have uh, 10 minutes in a writing task here and the total time in this table up here. And uh, so you see now, now we can, we have the benefit of having pre-written tasks so that we can always just, you know, log into the task and pick up from where we left off. And we, we know how many minutes of deep work, let's say we've put into that task. And uh, so, as I said before, Dealing with these different punches can sometimes be a little annoying if you didn't clock out of a task. There's different ways of, um, of correcting the log, or you can ignore the time that you did. And to my way of thinking, in my original deep work timer, I thought, well, why, why have to worry about clocking in and out of tasks? Why not just start a timer, and then when the timer runs out, it logs how much you did? Well, this way, you know, we get the benefit of having our, our tasks pre-written. We don't have to type it out every time. We get to use the clock tables. And uh, as I showed you with the config, I'm not going to miss a clock out because basically here's the way it would work. So let's say I want to I want to log into, uh, you know, do some deep work on making videos. I will come in here, clock into that task. And so now I'm clocked in. How much time, how much deep work time do I want to do? I can just start a timer, you know, let's say for the purposes of demonstration, I want to do, you know, 30 seconds. Obviously, we'll do much more. So now it's going to run that timer down. And ideally, once the timer runs down, it's going to run the org clock out function. And, you know, if for some reason I have a timer going and there is no current uh, task that I'm clocked into, it'll just give me an error saying there, there's no active clock. So, you know, we're not, we're not overly configuring too much of the system here. All right, so the, the timer just ran down there. And as you see, it, um, it clocked me out of the task as well. So, you know, in theory, I'm not going to, you know, forget and forget to clock out or whatever. And I don't need to use another timer, you know, to make sure to tell me that the time has run out and I should go back and clock out of the task. So yeah, this is this is definitely a a better system for me even than the the other system I had before, because now I get the benefit of using the, the built in clocking in and clocking out functions. And I can make sure that if I set an org mode timer down here at the bottom, it will do the clock out for me so that I won't forget and 
you know, forget to t clock out a task and, and go back. Uh, and that's also good because then I can do, I can be granular about how much time I want to spend. I don't just, you know, clock into a task and, you know, idly just spend as much time as I feel. I can, I can use the timer to, to set, you know, a specific time. I want to work 15 minutes on something. I'll just put in 15 minutes and then it'll clock me out when I'm done and I can walk away. So yeah, so that's, that's a, uh, an update to the, the deep work logging system. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Maybe this will work better uh, for some of you all who might be interested in doing this and uh, doing more deep work in your work day. So uh, yeah, so there you go. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions if you have any. And of course, if you want to like the video, if you did, if you didn't, that's okay too. And uh, subscribe to see more later. I'm going to jump out of here for now. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time.